Hello, my name is Adelaide Clock. I'm currently in North Carolina, um, but I'm a Michigander at heart. I was born and raised in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and then attended Grand Valley State University in the Grand Rapids area. I graduated in 2016 with my bachelor's degree in music education with a vocal emphasis. And while at Grand Valley, I student taught in both the elementary and the secondary level. And then the same summer, I moved to North Carolina to start my teaching career at Southern Middle School. I've been there now for three years, and in my three years there, it has been very rewarding, the relationships I've created with students through the music that we were creating. Um, and it's also been very rewarding to see the students participate in the multiple opportunities that are available in music education. Um, I've it's been a lot of hard work, but it's also, like I said, been rewarding. I got to rebuild the program over these last three years so that students could participate in uh, music performance adjudications and perform at festivals. We've received superiors both last year and this year. I've also uh, directed two school productions, including this year we just did Seussical Junior. That was just in March. And I was also nominated for Teacher of the Year this year at Southern. Um, I've really enjoyed my time here in North Carolina. And while I've been here, though, I've missed some things with my family. And I want to take what I've learned and apply it to my home state and move back to Michigan this summer um, to be closer to family and pursue graduate school. I um, wanted to become a music teacher specifically for a few reasons. Since I was young, I always wanted to be a teacher, but I didn't know what I would teach. And I was good at math, so I thought I would teach math. Um, but then in middle school, once I joined band and choir, my eyes were open to the many opportunities that music education provides um, and the relationships that you get to create with your teachers and your peers in that setting. It can be, be so vulnerable, but so amazing the, and um, the collaboration you get to have with your peers. And the specific moment that really charged me to want to teach music was, again, in middle school, my conductor, Miss Teresa Johnson, was doing a conducting unit where we learned how to conduct a specific part of a song we were learning. And I got to conduct, come up and conduct my peers. And it was very euphoric and um, just felt right. Felt like I knew that this was something I was supposed to do. Um, I'm very interested in the open position with Jenison Public Schools. Um, for the support of the arts that you have in the public school area at Jenison and the quality of music education that you have. I got to witness it firsthand in high school when I was a marching band and marched against Jenison Public Schools. And our school would dread it every time because of how great Jenison Public Schools was um, and because we knew they would win every time, which they did. And I think it's a great statement towards um, the high expectations, again, the quality of music education in Jenison Public Schools um, and also the amazing opportunities that you and collaboration that you provide for your students in Jenison Public Schools. I think it would be a great next step in my career um, and it would be very rewarding to work with the younger age group after having been in middle school for three years. Um, one of the biggest priorities between first grade and fifth grade lesson plans um, after looking at standards and creating an engaging lesson that's appropriate for the age and grade that you're teaching I think is how you have students create and manipulate the music. In first grade, um, I think it's great to have the students engaged by manipulating and creating music, whether it's right or wrong, so that they are immersed in the music and firsthand gaining those skills. To then, by the time they're in fifth grade, again, the priority is still manipulating and creating, but then with a purpose and with structure. Because by fifth grade, they should have music literacy skills and maybe vocal skills, hopefully producing um, instrumental skills, and taking all of the knowledge that they've gained and then using that structure and giving them a purpose to then the comfort of manipulating and creating that they've been doing since a young age can then merge together to be really immersed in their music education at a young age. Um, thank you very much.